What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to transfer any type of file from your Apple iPad Pro M4 to your computer, either Windows or Mac. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want an epic custom phone case like these for your phone, there's going to be a link down below in the description. And with that being said, let's jump right in. All right. So when you want to transfer data to and from a computer, there's a couple ways you could do it. The first way and one of the most oldest ways to do it is by using a USB cable. For this case, we need a USB type C cable to connect it to your iPad Pro M4 and to your computer. Uh, once you connect it and you install the correct drivers, you can just simply drag and drop the files uh, with your file manager on the computer to and from your iPad. Another way you could do it is you can also do it via Bluetooth as long as you're computer has Bluetooth as well, you can transfer files via Bluetooth. However, transferring via Bluetooth is the slowest method out of all of them, especially if you have a large file, it, it can take very long to transfer certain files. The other way you could do it if you're transferring to and from a Mac is by using AirDrop. Also very fast. Sometimes it doesn't work properly though, but AirDrop is also only if you're transferring to and from a Mac. And then there is the final way that I like to transfer files to and from the computer, and that is using a free app called Send Anywhere. In my opinion, this is the simplest way to do it, especially if you want to do it to a Windows computer. You can download it for free here in the App Store. You just type in Send Anywhere up here, right there, and it's this app right here. So I already have it downloaded. Uh, let's say we want to transfer something to the computer. So we open up Send Anywhere. Okay, you have to allow it uh, the camera. And then here you can select anything you want to transfer over. Uh, you can also go directly to the gallery and select it from here. So if you're on a certain picture that you want to transfer over, let's say you want to transfer this picture over, you just select share up here. And as you can see, send anywhere will appear right here. You select it. Okay, it's going to give you this code. Once you have that code, Okay, you open up Send Anywhere here on the computer. Here you just type in the code, hit enter once it's in there. And as you can see, it only takes a second or two, it's super quick depending on the file size. Okay, so as you can see here, it's downloaded. Now we're gonna select the folder and here is the picture. We can just drag and drop it here to the desktop and there we go. And if you wanna transfer files from the computer to the iPad Pro, uh, it's pretty much the same thing in reverse. We're just gonna go ahead and select the file that we wanna transfer over, for example, this picture, and we're gonna drag and drop it right here. It's gonna give us that code here in the iPad we're going to go ahead and open up send anywhere. Okay, we're going to go to receive. Here in receive is where we're going to type in that key. 915210. And then once you have it typed in, just hit receive. Okay, it's a three megabyte file. As you can see, it's almost done. And there you go. So since this, this is a free app, you'll probably get some ads here and there. But, you know, once it downloads, it will go straight to your gallery if what you're transferring over is a picture or video. Okay, here in send anywhere, we can see that it's been received. And... Uh, if you select it, you can see the picture. And if it is a picture or a video, it will automatically save to your gallery. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, it's this one right here since it's duplicated. All right, everyone, so that is how you transfer files, either pictures, videos, or audio files, or PDF files from your iPad Pro M4 to your computer, either Windows, PC, or Mac. If this video helped you out, all that I ask is that you nuke that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below and let me know if it helped you. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.